Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jose Hernandez, and I'm once again your sportscaster for this episode of Tiger TV News. Now, the 2015 through 16 year was a very exciting year for our Wayne's Valley Athletic Program for a number of many reasons. But over the past few days, I managed to put together a top 10 list of some of the greatest moments that happened. So yeah, let's get down to number 10. All right, now coming in at number 10 is Sam Roberts signs with Northwest Missouri Central, right? Missouri State. Missouri State, um, which is the best D2 school for football. And here with me is Sam Roberts himself. Um, can you tell me how it feels to sign with the best D2 school? Um, I'm very fortunate. I'm excited, and I'm just ready to ready to lift weights this summer and get big to go and do work up there. Was it always your first choice? No, I always wanted to go to some big, big school, but it just didn't happen that way. Okay, all right, thank you, Sam. So yeah, off to number nine. All right, now coming in at number nine is Joe Johnson, a member of the varsity basketball team here at Waynesville, is named Class 5 Athlete of the Year. Now in Joe Johnson's words, it feels really great and it took a lot of hard work and dedication. All right, now off to number eight. All right, now coming in at number eight is Kara Rodriguez, who is a member of the Waynesville varsity soccer team here, scores the most soccer goals in a Waynesville high school soccer career. And with me here is Kayla Rodriguez himself. So can you tell me what the score was? Uh, it was 81 goals in a career. So All right. Four years, yeah. All right, so can you tell me how that felt after knowing that you did that? Um, it, was, it was a great feeling uh, to know that I finally beat the record that I um, had set for myself to try and beat uh, freshman year. And it was kind of cool because we wrote uh, letters freshman year to Coach Armstrong, and that was one of the goals that I set for myself. And it was it was cool looking back on it and seeing that I actually was able to do that. So, so you've been playing this since freshman year? Yeah, I've been playing varsity for four years now, so it's fun. All right, well, congratulations. Thank you. All right, now on to number seven. All right, so coming out at number seven is when Waynesville's varsity football team finally defeated Camden, which hasn't been done in a very long time. And with me here today is Luke Main, who is a member of the varsity football team. So can you tell me how it felt after you guys finally beat Camden? Well, it felt amazing. We beat them two times this year, one time in the playoffs and one time at our home turf. And that was just a great feeling to shut them out. And it's really good. How did the rest of the team react after you guys finished? Fanatic. We were all partying in the locker room, just having a good time, hooting and hollering. All right, well, thank you, Luke. Yeah, no all right, so now off to number six. All right, now coming in at number six is the Waynesville Varsity Guys Tennis Team placed its third in their conference division. All right, now off to number five. All right, now coming in at number five is Julian Burnham, who is a member of the Varsity Track and Field Team, breaking the pole vault record with a height of 14 feet. And with me here today is Julian Burnham himself. So can you tell me um, how it felt like after finding out you beat the record? Uh, it felt amazing. Like For the first time in over 15 years, I broke a school record that's held for a very long time. Was that a goal that you set off since you first started track? Oh yeah, I've always, me and David push each other real hard and I've always wanted to tie or break the record and it's amazing, like experience because it's only my second year at pole vaulting. All right, cool, well congratulations and thank you. Thank you. All right, now off to number six. All right, now coming in at number four is when both guys and girls varsity basketball teams won district championships in the same exact night. I was able to catch up with Shaquille Vergis, who's a member of the varsity basketball team and this is what he had to say about it. It was a great feel that night when both guys and girls won. I was not surprised because I was very confident that we were going to win. All right, so now off to number three. All right, so coming in at number three is Waynesville varsity wrestler Todd Angel plays a second in state for wrestling. So I'm um, here with me is Todd Angel himself. So can you tell me how it felt to play second at state? Uh, it was, well, when I won the semis final match, I was elated because, to be honest, I didn't think I was going to win that match. The kid had beat me, like he had pinned me very easily uh, a couple weeks before, so I was very nervous about that match. But So just finding out that I was making it to the finals was a very big deal, and I was like, it warmed my heart, and I was like, I was crying, crying uh, I was crying, I was talking to my dad. But after um, the finals match itself, where, uh, like, where I lost in uh, I didn't get first. It was a little disappointing, but I still, I was just, I was really proud of myself. I was like, I didn't think I was making it as far. Like I was projected to make it a little bit less in the rating, uh, rankings, but like, I don't know. I was just very proud with my performance. I thought I did very well and everyone else was very proud of me. So yeah. Well, congratulations. All right, thank you, Todd. And now off to number two. All right, so coming in at number two is Ariel Corey signs with Kansas State University for track and field. And with me here is Ariel herself. So can you tell me how it was signing with Kansas, like how it felt? 
It felt amazing now that I get to compete with and against other high top schools and I get to not only level my height and of education obviously but also my athletic career for I get to compete and train with a uh, heptathlete herself, the NCAA champion and I get to be coached by the Olympic coach for the heptathlon so I think it's pretty good. Is that always your first choice to go to? It was one of my first choices to go to, yes. All right, cool. Thank you, Ariel, and congratulations. Thank you. All right, so now on to number one, but before we go there, um, here's a few honorable mentions. All right, now coming in at number one is Kelly Bilner for girls basketball breaks the 2000th point record and is also named Class 5 Female Player of the Year. And with me right now is Kelly Bilner herself. So can you tell me what it felt like after you broke the 2000 point record? It was a feeling that not very many people like can grasp the feeling of, like the feeling unless you've got it because just the thought of 2000 points in 4 years is just like mind blowing and all the effort I put into that is just like it's all paying off. All right, well, how did it feel also being named Class 5 Player of the Year? Well, I found out that I was that. I didn't even know that existed. And so then <laughs> I had to do some research. And the girl that got it last year started at Mizzou and was, like, the SEC Player of the Year for the freshmen. So I was like, wow, that's big steps that I have to follow. And it was pretty amazing. And Michael Porter got it, and he's number two kid in the nation. So it was just, like... An amazing, I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and that's it. Um, make sure you stay tuned for the next episode of Tiger TV, which will be next year, actually, because this is our last episode. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so from Jose Hernandez, your sportscaster, bye.